Okay, quick video on the difference between struts and ties. Got some examples and then we'll look at the engineering notation that we use. So I've got a couple of examples here, bridges, and on the top this is where we'll see our load, obviously, and that load gets distributed through these supporting columns. We call these struts because they're under compression because the load is pushing its way through the member and that's being reacted under the ground pushing back up again. Same example over here, we've got the bridge with the load on the top and um, the, the, the load is being pushed through the, the member which is under compression. We call that a strut. So that's in direct contrast to this type of bridge arrangement. Here you can see that the, the load which goes onto the flat surface here that's held up by this supporting structure on the top and that's connected to the bridge via these members here. These now these are these are opposite to the previous example, these are under tension because they're being pulled apart uh, and we call these a tie. And same over here, this bridge here, the supporting bow over the top is connected to the uh, the road surface via these ties and they're under tension. So that's how we would look at uh, describing that using engineering notation. So here we have um, two pins and they're connected by these members here in our diagram. Uh, and on the left I'm going to draw some compression and on the right some tension. So on the left, because this is in the, under um, compression, we know that they'll be pushing into the joint. So we tend to use arrows pointing into the joint like that. And same here, pointing into the joint. So this member in the center here, that's being pushing outwards into the joint, into the pins either side. And that's in direct contrast to the one on the right where the two blue pins uh, they're under tension now, so they're being pulled out of each pin. So think of the pin and being pulled out. So if you struggle to remember the differences, think of your shoelace which you would tie, because that only a shoelace only operates under tension, like a rope only operates under tension. It's no good if you try and push it, it just collapses. So you could actually think about that in terms of push and a pull actually. So uh, uh, construct will be under a, be a push and a tie will be pull and in fact that's one of the most basic and most fundamental definitions of what a force is push or a pull. Okay uh, let's now look at an example here so I've got a pin in the center with blue pin and there are three members and they are uh, under different types of loading scenario. There's various ways in which you can describe your members. I'm going to label the uh, the spaces in between. So I'm going to label this A, B and C. Okay, you can actually mem you know, there's different ways you can actually label the ends of the members or the spaces in between. I'm, la I'm labeling the spaces in between and that follows Bose notation. So, for example, the top member, which is pointing vertically down, we would refer to as member AB. So let's have a look at member AB. So member AB is a strut. And I know it's a strut because it is pointing into the pin. BC is a tie because it is pulling out of the, t out of the joint. Same for CA, that's a tie because it is pulling out of the pin. Okay, so there you have it, so some simple examples of using uh, Bose notation, uh, using uh, spaces uh, and some for struts and ties.